Hey guys, my name is Rob Dennis 43 and welcome back to another episode on the Hardcore World. This is episode 4, and today I want to start off this episode with teaching you how to get a mending book. This is a mending villager. I got it yesterday. It's very cool. This... Trace 32 6 for an emerald. I have 16 emeralds. I have to do this. And then I craft it into sticks. There is four stacks of sticks. I then trade the sticks for emeralds. I now have 24 emeralds, but I don't have a book. So I need to get one. This is a fish. This is my sword. Sometimes fish will drop bones, so I can just kill it with my sword. It dropped a bone. Now I have three bone meal. This is sugarcane. This is bone meal. The sugarcane grows. If it doesn't lag. And I craft it to get paper. I then craft the paper into a book. I then walk up to my mending villager and trade with it. And that is how you get a mending book. Okay, really? Hey guys, my name is Ryan. Welcome back to the hardcore video. This is episode 4. I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird, it's because I have a cold. And yes, you did see that correctly, I do have a mending book. It's beautiful. It was actually quite easy to get. I wasn't actually expecting it to be that easy. I basically just trapped this villager in the um in like a dirt box. I literally traded it about twenty times and it got mending so fast. It's probably one of the fastest times it's ever gotten mending. And my goal for this video is to basically just get a lot of mending because mending is the best enchantment, as I said in my last video. No, wait. It wasn't my last video, that was episode 2. I want to cut down trees. Don't do this in real life. Do not do this in real life, guys. This is just for demonstration purposes only. Two villages and a lot of trees cut down later. I finally got myself six mending books. Now just enough for all my armour, my pickaxe and my sword. And I hope I have enough iron because that's three iron blocks. Yes, I do. I have an anvil. Watch this. Watch this. Um, undercraft. This is the best moment in Minecraft, doing this. Oh, my armor's so shiny. Let's go, and of course, my tools, no. My tools. And I'm full mending. Well, would you look at that, full mending. Now I only need another right, and I'm like, OP. <laughs> so, um, I have uh, done something here. I've added a bit of dirt, and I've added some glass here. Now I want to make my storage room actually, so I think I'm just going to go into a time lapse now, and I'm just going to time lapse the building of this storage room because it's not that interesting just placing blocks everywhere. So that's what I'm going to do and um, enjoy the time lapse, I guess.
So I've just done the storage room and I think it looks amazing. I'm really proud of myself for making this. And it didn't take as long as I thought it would take. And I think the first chest I'm going to have to make is definitely going to have to be cobblestone because I have so much cobblestone. Cobblestone. Oh no. Z. Z, sorry, I'm, I'm British. Z. Nice. Nice letter. This is a lot of cobblestone, but it's really taken up this chest. And I can add so much more to this chest. Because I don't have as much cobblestone in that chest, and I'm going to have one for like andesite, diorite, and granite. Because those are just stuff that fill up your inventory and they literally do nothing. Andesite, diorite, granite, and. I can just fill that up with whatever I do. And I have quite a bit over here as well. I always get them mixed up. It's, it's andesite. Andesite. Andesite's the only one that actually looks good. Granite and diorite, they're just disgusting. Yeah, they're, they're the most disgusting blocks in the whole of Minecraft. And, oh my god, they look so bad. You know, I'll have, I'll have a deep slate one as well, since I have a bit of deep slate. Sand. Um, what can I put this? Um, wood, I guess. Just all the wood stuff. Have some wood on me right now. Doors. I should make one for dirt, actually, as well. I think the dirt's gonna go here. And the wood will be on the next one. Just putting similar ones next to each other. I do not want the door in there anymore. Dirt doors. Dirt doors would be nice. I would like to add dirt doors to Minecraft. I, I'm going to start a petition to just add dirt doors to Minecraft. <laughs> Imagine how funny that would be. I just turn up at Mojang HQ and I'm like, Hey Mojang, please add dirt doors to Minecraft. I So I can put them in my dirt chest. You know what? I'm just going to annoy you by putting glass in sand. If you like, have OCD or something. There you go. And now... I'm going to collect obsidian because I need to make another nether portal. Because I'm actually finally going to um, be brave and go to the nether and hopefully not die. So, in order for me to make the portal to the village, I first need to go all the way to the village to find the coordinates and build the portal. Wait, just check if I have flint and steel on me. I have iron, I'll get flint when I'm there. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, divide by eight method. So I'm going to um, build a portal in the village and light it. And I'm not going to go through it. I'm going to go all the way back to my base, go to the nether, and then mine to where I do need to go to build the second portal. And then hopefully it'll link up. It usually does link up. Uh, sometimes it won't work, but hopefully it does work. Um, which means I've got a do a lot of walking and this is so painful so I will be so happy when I don't have to do this because I just want to show you I just want to show you the mountains here you have to climb up so high and there's like these huge slopes everywhere it's dark I need to sleep there's a cow there hi cow Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been here before. This is a way I've gone before. Because I made this. As you can see, there are just these huge mountains everywhere. And these are literally the most annoying things ever to cross. I can't imagine what this will be like in Caves and Cliffs Part 2. It's be even worse. There'd just be so many mountains, you just can't climb them. That was so cool. So I'm just gonna go the rest of the way. Oh my god. See? There's just so many mountains, that's so cool. It's so satisfying when you jump into water from a high distance. Even though it's also kind of scary. 
So now that I finally got here, I can uh, make the portal. This seems like a good place, and I just gotta remember the cords before I light it. I go use ten. Three eight eight four nine eight. I'm just gonna put that in the chat. And the portal's lit. Now I need to go all the way back to my base through the overworld. This is gonna take a while. I just realized I'm probably gonna run out of food, and now I gotta go over this massive mountain. You see, you get to experience now how painful it is for me to climb this mountain. This is what I have to do every time I wanna go to my village. I have to do this. It's not fun. It's the complete opposite of fun, actually. I'm still not at the top. And now, through the top, I'm probably going to have to go all the way back down again. Yeah, see? That was all for nothing. After climbing over like 5,000 mountains and getting lost, I managed to get into the nether, and it's really scary when you're on hardcore mode. I can literally hear piglins. And I've dug into a crimson forest. This seems dangerous. Oh yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to play it safe and shift bridge. Really scared of ghosts. This is a netherrack. Ghosts can blow that up. Which scares me. So please, if you're a ghost, just don't spawn. Thank you. I'm just trying to make another tunnel to go to my village. Please understand that I'm not threatening you in any way, Mr. Ghast. If you do spawn. This seems safe. This seems safer now. I'm at the right axe coordinate, but I feel like my pickaxe is going to break now. No way! <laughs> Let's go, Netherite! Oh my god! First Netherite. Oh, 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 oh. This is what I was scared of. Oh, my pickaxe is gonna break. Found a spot for the portal. It's not the exact cause, but the reason. But haven't done the exact chords is because that. I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> so hopefully this will still take me to the right area. It should. And... Yeah, this looks dangerous. This does not look safe at all. I can hear a ghost. So, yeah, I think that's just going to be something I'm going to sprint on so I can make it out. Oh. Please, go to the village. Go to the village. Yes, and it's night time. I'm going to sleep. Yes! <sighs> that's what scares me so much. One wrong step, and you're dead. And I don't want to die this early on. I want to survive for like 10 more episodes. Get full netherite, prop 4 armor. Okay. As you can see, there's a piglins. 
don't want to deal with them right now. I'm going to sprint along here. They have crossbows. Hopefully they don't have amazing aim, but they probably do because it's hard mode. I have a portal to the village. I now no longer need to climb over 5,000 mountains just to get to my village. But now, really, I've basically done all of what, I'm, what I've wanted to do. I don't know what to do now. Put a torch here. Mm hmm. And put my ancient debris up for s display. Looks like a cinnamon roll. I don't want to end the episode now. I want to find something else to do. Ooh, I might terraform, like, go down here and, like, make the dirt look like it's part of the mountain, even though I placed it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you, how, like, my amazing terraforming skill. I'm, like, good times with Scar. Yeah, I'm, like, green. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was scary. Oh, my God. Let's not do that again. Oh my god, why are you here? I told you to leave. Um, yeah. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Building the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh my god, leave me alone. Just go away. Oh! It's a baby. It's a baby. My terraforming is great. If I go up here, you will see. <laughs> that looks so bad. Maybe I'll make it better. Maybe I won't. Maybe that's just how lazy I am. Maybe I'll just leave it like this for the rest of the entire series. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, that probably is what I'll do. I'm kind of bored, so I think I might just end the episode anyway, because I've done a bit of a mending. Got cool stuff. Oh, you know what? I need to um, put more durability on my pickaxe. That's what I need to do. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do for the entire episode. There we go. No, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I just looked at my um, photos and I realized I have over 30 minutes of footage and I just ran out of stuff to do, so I guess I'm just going to end the episode here because I've pretty much done enough. I got mending, I made a storage room, and also I made these jack-o'-lanterns here because it is spooky month. Um, I might be uploading a special spooky month video, but anyway, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Always subscribe. I need 100 subscribers, and goodbye. This looks so weird, my shield. <laughs> you can just see my face <laughs> through my shield. Oh no, 